Hey everyone, it's Parker from Aligned Online, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate a lead page into your Facebook page, into a little uh, custom tab here um, where people can see uh, info about an upcoming event or what have you uh, that you've created in lead pages. Uh, one of the nice things about this is that uh, if you embed a lead page, uh, you can make any changes you need over on leadpages.net. And uh, if you want to change a headline or change a date, and it automatically gets updated here on your Facebook page. Uh, your Facebook page is different than your Facebook user page. So as a Facebook user, you have the ability to add these custom pages to promote a brand or a business or organization and have different conversations, share different photos, and um, have different customizations here. I'm going to show you how to add this lead pages one uh, right now. So uh, two places you're going to need to remember in order to customize this. One is here under More and the Manage Tabs selection. This is where you can uh, move up the lead pages uh, tab so that it shows by default when you hit the page. And the other is up here where you are going to switch users. Um, so here you can switch between uh, using Facebook as uh, you or as your business. And Lead Pages needs you to be logged uh, using Facebook as you in order to add this um, integration. The other thing Lead Pages needs is not something here initially. So you can't have a lead page already here and overwrite it. You need to delete it first. And we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go here to uh, Settings, to Apps, and go ahead and click the little X to delete that Lead Pages app from our page. And if we go back, you can see that that Lead Pages uh, tab is no longer there. Now we're going to need to switch over to uh, our username in order to add it back. So we're going to switch over to the username and then come over here to Lead Pages. And uh, you can see here are my lead pages. And it's so simple to integrate. You just click on uh, the lead page you want to integrate. Click on Facebook under Publish Options. Click Add to Facebook page. It lets you pick it right here. If you have more than one, uh, you can select which one. And then click Add Page tab. And there it is. Except it's a little bit misleading because if you actually click on this page, uh, this is to show you that it's there. If you actually click on this page, it's not there until you change the order again of these tabs. So we're going to go here to Manage Tabs and pull this up. Uh, so it's after Photos, so it falls on this uh, page by default. So you don't have to look for it. You don't have to search under more to find it. The other thing we're going to do is, as much as I love lead pages, I am going to change the name of that tab back here under Settings, Edit Settings, and change it to something that may, be, may make more sense to users. So they may not know what a lead page is, but they know what a webinar is. So I'm going to save that. Uh, this is also where you can uh, find the link to go directly to your Facebook page and feature that tab. So we're going to do that right now. And here it is under Webinar. One thing that uh, will happen is that the way, a, the way a layout flows on a website is different than how it is when it's sort of squeezed here into this Facebook frame. So uh, I see a problem already. We've got this photo. It's overlapping my headline here. Um, so I'm going to need to make an adjustment on that. And what I've found that makes it easier for me is to go ahead and um, make a duplicate. So I go here under my pages and I go ahead and click on this little drop down box and just duplicate that lead page. And then I name it uh, as a Facebook specific version. I even label it with this Facebook blue. And then I can then edit, sorry, that I can then edit to remove that picture. So we're just going to take that out from the Facebook version of this page and publish that instead. There's a more, a little more advanced thing I do uh, here as well. I'm going to show you really quickly, which is to uh, add, uh, to actually make use of a hidden field. 
that I add into my form and populate it with the information that this contact is coming from Facebook. So I'm using Infusionsoft. Uh, here, let me click over here. So on this Infusionsoft form, I've added a hidden field that I've called event lead source. And it's blank here. And I can populate that from within lead pages. Uh, you can also do this um, in MailChimp. Here's a hidden field I've added to this MailChimp form, lead source. And then over here on lead pages, you go down here to click on advanced options. And you can see these hidden form fields. This is the custom field that I created in Infusionsoft. And I go ahead and I put in a value for Facebook because I know anyone uh, who's visiting this form is coming from Facebook. And I want to capture that into my uh, contact record. All that needs to happen now is to go back to your Facebook page and uh, remember that we had that um, version of the page that didn't um, look as good. So we're going to delete that. Back here to settings. App. Delete. And we're going to go back here to um, make sure we're signed in as Tish. And then we're going to go back here to lead pages and republish that to Facebook. And we do all this again. And that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, reach me at parker at alignedonline.com. And if you're interested in some hands-on help getting started with lead pages, Aligned Online has a special package that will get you set up with your own lead pages account. Add integrations, getting you set up on MailChimp or Constant Contact if you need it. Access training resources, upload the graphics you need, and create your very first landing page with an hour of hands-on help. To order, you can visit bit.ly slash leap hyphen into hyphen lead pages. Once again, I'm Parker from Aligned Online. Thanks for joining me.